let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Advent of the Greatest Spirit Everlasting Gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. Spiritual food, Luke chapter 17, verses 20 to 21. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, Lo here, or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Quote, Brethren, in this gospel, the Father shall expatiate on the pronouncements which were made by our Lord Jesus Christ. In John chapter 16, verse 13, our Lord Jesus Christ emphatically declared thus, Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Many of you are ignorant of the significance of the pronouncement of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hence, the Father feels obliged to pick up each of such pronouncements and give you an insight into each of them. You, members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, and the inhabitants of the entire world at large, do not know what this kingdom is all about. The mission of our Lord Jesus Christ during his first advent was to pave the way for the establishment of God's kingdom on earth and the coming of the Holy Spirit to dwell therein. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is neither a church nor a prayer house but the kingdom of God. It therefore stands to reason that whosoever derails from the path of the kingdom or contravenes the norms in here is failed outrightly. Many of you often meet failure in life because you do not give room for contingency in your operation neither do you take precaution. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What else will you build for me? Said the Lord. Or what is the place of my rest? That was in Acts chapter 7 verse 49. Brethren, do you now realize that the houses you build all over the world are founded on God's leg. The leaves you see, are they not God? Your ignorance has so made you to inquire always to know the sight of God's kingdom that was promised or pronounced to be among men. But in the real sense, the kingdom is within you fully manifested. Many people out of ignorance do disregard children and by so doing, ill treat them. But I am warning you against such act because a child you regard as to be little or insignificant may not be that in the sight of God. Similarly, God may incarnate in those you claim to be poor. So, be cautious of your deeds and utterances 
lest you fight against or abuse God. Proliferation of God's kingdom. Brethren, brought out of the cross and star is the kingdom of God which prevails everywhere. So it is erroneous to profess that there is no brotherhood of the cross and star member in your locality. The inhabitants of the entire world are brotherhood members. So it is a misconception to say that one person is a brotherhood while the other is not. The kingdom of God is very unique. As such, it has everything abundantly in it. There is wealth, there is money, there is soldiers, there is police, there is the Father, there is the Son, and all the angels are here. And because of this sufficiency in brotherhood, many people are afraid of it. In a short while, this fact shall be made known to all. All forms of blasphemies against brotherhood of the cross and star will soon cease. This is that kingdom that the prophets of old prophesied about and those who are spiritually minded only behold it. Those who are carnally minded neither knows it nor, nor sees it. The carnal people have been waging spiritual war against us secretly without succeeding. Hence, they are now running away in terror. This is the time for the Holy Spirit to be glorified both in heaven and on earth. Before now, different times were kept for the reign of the patriarchs like Melchizedek, Moses, Samuel, and many others. This is, in the same vein, the appointed time for the reign of the Holy Spirit. That is why it is the Holy Spirit alone that is doing everything in every part of the world today. So, whoever that is not spiritually minded, cannot enter into this kingdom and receive anything from God even till doomsday. A new era. Brethren, right from the moment our Lord Jesus Christ said it is finished, the work of the flesh came to an end. Abraham and many other prophets of old were not directed by the Holy Spirit because of the sinful world of that era which Adam and Eve showed the way. But the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ has refined a lot of things in the world, especially the precious blood he shed by giving his life a ransom for many. True is death on the cross, the sting of death has been destroyed and also the heads. Only the righteous ones are now worthy to dwell in the new kingdom with him, while the unrighteous are completely ejected from his presence and kept afar to suffer till eternity. This is the fullness of time. So whatever gifts God has bestowed on you, same you must use to glorify Him. It is against this background that I always tell you that the Father, Son, and all the heavenly hosts are here. If you had been fortunate to be spiritually intellectual, you would have perceived the fact that Moses Abraham and many other prophets of old are here. Although in the carnal realm you always imagine that the hall is empty, but in the spirit the great hall is always filled with people from various planets 
Now that the Holy Spirit has manifested physically on her, you should not bother or trouble yourself over anything. This is not the time you can harm anybody any longer. For the Holy Spirit is all and in all. People accuse you of having initiated into cults and secret societies because of their constant failure when attempting to harm you spiritually. Little do they know that you are under the shield of the Holy Spirit. So in every occasion the Holy Spirit reigns supreme. He is even with you wherever you happen to find yourself. But if you are but if you dare quarrel, drink wine, or indulge in evil tendencies, the Holy Spirit will desert you because he detests strongly a defiled heart. As far as this world is concerned, the Holy Spirit alone has the potential to cure all infirmities for people. There is no being that can challenge nor oppose the Holy Spirit, neither is divine command. The Holy Spirit is all and in all. That is why there is nothing lacking as far as this kingdom is concerned. After all, he is lavishly present in our midst. Right from the time our Lord Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross of Calvary, the works of the flesh ceased, for he died for that purpose. And three days after his death, the Spirit emanated and triumphed till death. The said spirit reigns supreme in us today. He passes through us to do all things. So it is erroneous for someone to lament over his apathy towards fasting and ministry work. Gone are the days when you were known or recognized from the carnal perspective. For every man is now known in the spirit. On this account, you can today go about your daily activities without any hindrance and also walk majestically anywhere without any itch. This is the time of his glory, so it is high time those who are given to doubting and disregarding the Holy Spirit Meet their Waterloo. A carnal man cannot have a perception of this thing, but it is the Holy Spirit who reveals everything to every man. Our Lord Jesus Christ clearly said that the kingdom of God does not come by observation, but that it is right in the midst of men. The entire world is eluded of this fact about the kingdom of God and the coming of the Holy Spirit into this world. Hence, everything now goes haywire with the government, with the communities and the entire world at large. The world is in confusion. It cannot accomplish anything tangible. But in the kingdom of God in which the Holy Spirit is at the helm, of all affairs, everything is streamlined. There is no problem whatsoever as far as the kingdom of God is concerned. So the heirs to the kingdom are enriched with all the good things and as such they are always joyous. This kingdom and its glories have engulfed everywhere. The kingdom has sprung in all the heavenly bodies, the earth, and the firmament. Therefore, stop complaining that there is no brother of the cross and star battle in one place or the other. The kingdom 
has come to reign supreme in every nook and cranny of the world till eternity. Revelers are hereby warned. You could only perceive the glories of this kingdom if you are spiritually minded. Brethren, oftentimes many people blaspheme against visioner, visioner and prophets who convey spiritual messages to them. They have failed to understand that such messages are not from men, but from the Holy Spirit. So, brethren, having realized this fact, this moment, you need to keep to it an ipso facto leader high a leader hitch free life. In fact, it pays much to accept and embrace the words of prophecy. The children of the Spirit cannot taste of death because they are the children of resurrection who have been justified by faith and called by the Holy Spirit. All righteous people like Abel and many others are here with us physically but cannot be seen with carnal eyes but spiritual eyes. Our Lord Jesus Christ is also here physically and can be seen only with the spiritual eyes. So the kingdoms of this world have collapsed leaving the kingdom of God alone to rule and reign everywhere. Do not seek for this kingdom from carnal perception because the carnal mind that cannot find it. Only the spiritually minded can perceive this kingdom and with this perception there is that tendency for you to realize that so far as you are identified with this kingdom you are on top of the world. You cannot use your carnal eyes to see what is transpiring here in the kingdom. Even though the Holy Spirit may reveal himself to you, you will not be able to see him as far as you are carnal. But if you are spiritually minded, you would be so opened and exposed the Holy Spirit can in any form visit you. Most of the strangers you sometimes embrace or reject may be God incarnate, but because of spiritual blindness, you are eluded of this understanding. Many of you, when being obliged by an unknown person whom you did not even place any requests before, start wondering how such a person managed to know your heart's desire and obliged accordingly. Little do you know that God is omnipresent and ever ready to satisfy our desires in one way or the other. Though your bones may be broken in the physical realm, in the spiritual realm they are normal. Even if you may be starved in the physical world, in the spiritual world you are well fed. Everything is accomplished according to his will. This is the time which the Holy Spirit has come to reign. And since this is his time, everyone is bound to subdue and succumb. You have no right whatsoever to question the Holy Spirit. Why he has designed a particular thing thus. Neither should you long to see him operate physically. After all, the kingdom of God has affirmed by our Lord Jesus Christ does not come by observation. The Holy Spirit is the sole door 
and decision maker in every aspect of our lives. So, if he had warned you against idolatry, flesh eating, and fornication, you must comply without any complaint. Without the Holy Spirit, there is no good health. There is no longevity and pleasure. You do not adhere to these instructions because you do not believe in the Holy Spirit. You have no belief in the Holy Spirit. Hence, when He cures you, you attribute the cure to native or medical doctors and drugs. Meanwhile, there is no power in such things to effect any tangible change in you. It is worthy to note that if the Holy Spirit does not approve, nothing could be done. So, He is the sole doer of all things and the provider of man's every need. This accurate knowledge of truth cannot be reached without being enriched with the Holy Spirit. Oftentimes, the Holy Spirit in visioners reveal hidden treasure to you, but since you are so given to disobedience, to pride and recalcitrance, you always treat such intermediaries and message they transpire with contempt. Even the teachings which the Father imparts to you personally, you hardly heed. These messages are very significant in your life, so on no account should you trample on them as well as those who disseminate them. Irrespective of how small an instructor may be, provided he gives you moral instruction. Please do not be adamant. God is the doer of all things. And for everything he does, there are reasons. In every situation, God is always solidly behind you. He never leaves you desolate for a second. The tears explain, brethren, it is said in the scripture that a time shall come when the tears will be gathered together and burned with fire. As therefore the tears are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. That was in Matthew chapter 13 verse 40. What constitute these tears? It is the people who are deceitful. The warmongers, the evildoers, the righteous and virtuous shall be safeguarded against all itches. A lot of you have heard of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, and the Spirit of Truth. These three phenomena are going to be expatiated to you. The Spirit of Truth constitutes the Son of God who reveals all truth to you. The Holy Spirit is the Father who has come to lead you to the accurate knowledge of truth. He is also the promised comforter. The Holy Ghost connotes the righteous saints or people who have been transformed from depravity to righteousness. These people never wallow in evil. All sinners have their souls imprisoned. Hence, you see a lot of people face problems and difficulties as long as they live. 
all the problems that came to you in this world emanate from your spiritual deficiencies. Everything about man is done in the spiritual realm. You are justified and are condemned in the spiritual realm before such manifests in this physical realm. You are replenished in the spirit, whereas here in the physical realm, nothing tangible could be accomplished. The validity of your claim to be a president is limited to this physical realm. After all, a distinguished and free man here on earth may be under bondage in the spirit. The high donors of money here in the kingdom and in the world at large that you attach so much importance to may be very insignificant in the spirit. On this note, therefore, you have been asked to recognize your thinking. You have been asked to reorganize your thinking and reasoning. You may be very wretched physically on earth, but in the spirit you are the richest. Other than the Father who is the Holy Spirit, none is vested with this knowledge. No man knows his left from his right. Hitherto, that is why the scripture affirms thus. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. That was in John chapter 4 verse 23. Live in spirit. Brethren, it is high time we live in the spirit. Since everything is done in the spirit. It is not uncommon to hear people complain of scantiness of people here in the Great Hall at 34 Humble Street. This is an act of ignorance and carnality for the brotherhood of the cross and star constitutes the entire world and the people in spirit often see it booming with people all the time. All roads now lead to the kingdom. That is why you see those who hitherto vowed not to come into the kingdom come in here so enormously. Brotherhood of the cross and star is the home of wonders and in a short time the manifestation of these wonders shall be perceived and testified by all and sundry. Before now you resolve never to reconcile with your adversaries, let alone pray and preach to them, but today the reverse is the case. The Holy Father in you has been counting such resolution and at the same time informing you of the essence of forgiveness. Is this not wonderful? Are you not astonished to see the whole world in unison? This is a very great change effected by the Father's impact here on earth. We all are one in the Lord. Brethren, brotherhood of the cross and star is the kingdom of God. Therefore, all diabolical elements have no place in here. There is nothing ungodly that, was, that has any impact as far as this kingdom is concerned. Since this is the era of the Holy Spirit, his children cannot be in want. The Holy Spirit is sufficient to all his children, wherever they may be. The entire world is in fact in a piteous state today. 
This is as a result of unbelief and doubt. That is why you must never attribute any occurrence or happening to man or any other phenomenon but to the Holy Spirit for he is the sole doer of everything. Do not trouble your mind any longer. Do not equally fear anything because a lot of you are always found wanting and desperate following the fear you entertain. Never complain of being alone for the Holy Spirit is always solidly around you. Always the Holy Spirit ensures that people are kept to oblige to your needs here in the kingdom so that you be sufficed. The Holy Spirit constitutes your father, your mother, your brothers and sisters and, the f and in fact everything to you. With the Holy Spirit lavishly in you, you are bound not to face sickness, tribulation, disgrace and sufferings in life. So, wherever you may be, whether in the forest or beneath the earth, you are not alone, but with a lot of people assigned by the Holy Spirit to guard over you. Many of you doubt this fact because of the extent of carnality and unbelief in you. If you were to be in spirit, you would have realized that no matter how impoverished your health may be in the physical realm, you are very healthy in the spiritual realm. It is worthy to note that God recognizes only the spirit at the expense of the flesh. The spirited ones, therefore, have a cause to be glad. The Father has been revealing great and wonderful things to the spirited children and they too have been making good use of such revelation. But in your own case, doubt and unbelief do not allow a fertile space in you for such revelation. Even the revelation about this kingdom God has exposed each and every one of you here in order that you can be conscious of where you are. Brotherhood of the cross and star, in fact, constitute the kingdom of God which the prophets of old prophesied about. Spiritual statements are but the veritable truth. While the words of the flesh are false, it is the spiritual statements which most men doubt and even abhor that are efficacious. Even if you do not have any food to eat, do not bother yourself because you will provide food for you. Brethren, recall when the city of Dosam was surrounded by the Syrian army to seize Prophet Elisha. Prophet Elisha's servant was terrified to behold such a great army coming to attack just his master. Hence, he questioned his master saying, My master, what shall we do? And Elisha answered, Fear not, for they that are with us are more than they that are with them. Then Elisha prayed and said, O Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire around 
and about Elijah. In, in 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 14 to 17, it reads, Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, uh, an host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not. For they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened his eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elijah. Brethren, this story is food for thought for all those who are doubtful and spiritually blind. This story, however, is not strange to you, for it is often preached and sung about here in the kingdom. Brethren, those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. Thank you, Father. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The end of quote. Thank you, Father.